Well, one of the big themes of my book is this relationship between conservatism and populism. And the irony that oftentimes the only way conservatives get into power is through populist politics, uh, which conservatives like Buckley and Meyer, who I've mentioned, were often ambivalent and, and kind of conflicted about. But this is clearly uh, evident in the Reagan election, with populism being one of the driving forces of Reagan's rise, but Reagan able to synthesize populism with the uh, supply side agenda, with the interests of the religious right, with the uh, tax cutting, uh, with the defense buildup, all the various factions of the American right as well. With his departure from the scene, this argument begins anew. Uh, and there, I always thought it was very interesting. The 1988 GOP primary was in many ways a missed opportunity because you had a moment there where the Republican Party could have been forced to choose between Jack Kemp, yeah. your old boss, and Buchanan. Pat doesn't run for president in 1988. He waits until yeah. 1992 because he recognizes, smartly, that Reagan's successor is probably going to be George H.W. Bush, who is not a Reaganite. No. You know, who was an establishment Republican. And so then we get the fight between the establishment Republicanism represented by, by Bush and Buchanan in 1992, representing the populist wing, po representing the resurgence of the old right in its attitudes toward war, in its attitudes toward immigration, and then really beginning in, the, in Buchanan's 96 campaign, picking up the trade issue yeah. as well, becoming more protectionist. So that debate uh, is had, but um, Buchanan never is successful. And in 2000, of course, he leaves the Republican Party, and he runs for president on the reform ticket, where one of his rivals is a businessman named Donald Trump. And uh, I think Buchanan is the first to recognize the irony that 16 years later, Trump would ascend to the presidency on many of the ideas that he was lambasting Buchanan about <laughs> just <laughs> in, in the 2000 cycle. Um, but that, so at the time, at the moment, I do think the argument has been settled in the favor of the forces of populism and the conservative governing class that came to power with Ronald Reagan lasted through the first George Bush, um, was kind of moved up to Capitol Hill during the Republican Revolution yeah, in New Gingrich, right. Right. and then came back down Pennsylvania Avenue with George W. Bush. That, that conservative governing class, which existed for really about 30 years, uh, has been displaced. 